Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer, August 18, 2022. The moon in your resources sector all day points to a practical theme. Even so, the sun and Jupiter are heading into alignment in your sign, boosting your confidence and spirit. With this transit, you're making your opportunities by putting more faith in yourself and your capabilities. Look for opportunities to expand, improve, and grow. You feel considerably more optimistic and can more readily get others on board for ventures you're considering. Ideas for future projects can be golden, so pay attention. You're in good shape for growing something, whether it's a relationship, project, or business. Certainly, this transit, along with a recent new moon in your sign, can have you feeling that you're starting fresh. The motivation to improve your life skyrockets. You're in fabulous shape for investing in your personality, and it's also a standout time for influence, faith, and hopefulness. Today's astral weather is urging you to own up to your self-worth. You are the entire package, and it's about time you recognize that. As you may remember, the moon rules your fifth house of love, passion, and self-expression, but it will enter warrior-like Taurus in your second house of value systems today. Is this love interest worthy of your precious time and energy? With the moon's ruler, Mars, sitting together with Venus via your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world it's important that you reflect on your hopes, wishes, and dreams, specifically those of you looking for someone with a similar goal. It may be easier to say what is on your mind and express yourself in your workplace today. With the sun in your sign, you are coming across as notably confident in your creativity and desire to work with others. Since the sun sextals Uranus in Taurus, you may be surprised with how your authenticity affects conversation and dynamics in your work cliques. There could be something surprising that is said in conversation that gives you a better idea of who you want to befriend and talk to regularly at work. The moon might be making an ordinary monthly visit to your income sector but as the last before the sun returns there is a greater need to pay attention. This means listening to your gut but also to everything that your intuition, instincts and imagination are focused on, with the doors to the most lucrative months of 2022 opening in just 16 days. Curiosity might kill the cat, but you're not a kitty. Take a good look around and you'll spot a new cutie in your environs. You are thought of as a rather reserved person, but in fact you can be intense and passionate, too. With today's planetary alignment, your passions could easily catch fire. Expect to look and feel your best, and to surprise yourself with what you are ready and willing to accomplish. Your energy is high and easily directed toward positive expression. You more than anyone realize that taking great care of yourself is sexy, sexy, sexy. So, don't skip your daily workout. This is a great day to get things tidied up and organized. With the essence of this day happening, applying a little elbow grease will probably feel good for you. Along with added energy toward working, you can expect to feel mentally sharp. Being able to come up with space solutions or ways to be more efficient will come to you much easier than usual. Whether it's at home or at the office, make the most of these helpful benefits. Having the moon in your friendship sector during Mars' final days here is not only making it easier to connect but is adding to an already auspicious week across the communication, friendship and relationship fronts. In the heart of Mercury, the planet of communications last full week in your communication sector and as a friendly aspect between Mars and Pluto, in retrograde motion in your relationship sector separates, this is holding everything together. What started as a good week for Pluto and for your relationships, continues to improve. The week began with Pluto, in retrograde motion in your relationship sector at a friendly aspect to Mars and while this is still separating, the moon has walked into his shoes. In the heart of Mercury, the planet of communications last full week in your communication sector the stars are aligned across the communication, friendship and relationship fronts. Our eyes in the sky. You should be feeling emotionally refreshed and ready to take on the world. The energy here is great for starting new projects, 
So if you've been putting aside certain tasks, now would be the time to pick them up and execute your plans. This energy likes to move, so you'll likely get a boost to your endurance as well. Your desire for adventure is highlighted now, which could lead to an impulsive excursion away from home. Humor your whims today, fleeting as they may be, and don't be afraid to step out of your normal routine. This afternoon, the moon cozies up to healing asteroid Chiron, and this aspect could go one of two ways. You could do a really great job of putting someone else's needs ahead of your own, which could in turn leave you with the short end of the stick. Or you could finally give yourself permission to be a little bit selfish. This is the time to think about what you want and then act on it. It might feel unnatural to be so self-serving, but we all need to take time out for ourselves now and again. Just remember to be gentle with others when you're letting them know it's all about you right now, while your attention will be drawn in many directions today, the most urgent is Venus and Mars last full day in your career sector. Having the Moon in Taurus as Venus and Mars spend their last full day in a competitively charged part of your chart and prepare to move to a more social and serendipitous part tomorrow is a huge advantage. The planets of love and passion are as tightly aligned now as they have been and thanks to the Moon you are emotionally engaged. It is an especially quiet day astrologically, as the Taurus moon makes no aspects until it links up with wounded healer asteroid Chiron afternoon. This transit stimulates insecurities, forcing us to become our own emotional support system. In the past, especially in our formative years, a fear of rejection caused us to shy away from expressing some facet of our identity. Perhaps we were deemed too loud, too opinionated, or accused of taking up too much space. We might have had interests or ambitions that clashed with familial expectations or ostracized us from our peers. As children, we internalized these complaints and associated them with a lack of safety. The message, if we are our authentic selves, others will abandon us. At this juncture, events occur which provoke familiar anxieties. The Moon and Chiron are currently the only planets transiting a fire sign, and burning feelings of anger and resentment could flare up seemingly out of nowhere, directed at those who unknowingly poke old wounds. Although our frustrations are valid, perpetuating harm is no way to reconcile our past. In fact, through these confrontations, we become more practiced at supporting and healing the inner child who craves validation. Be your own best cheerleader now. It is our birthright to express ourselves, take action, and forge new paths, no matter how loud we are or who we might disturb in the process. It is not our responsibility to make ourselves palatable for others, and rectifying this ideology helps us attract true friends and allies. Asking for advice from a trusted source regarding our finances will prove helpful, as they will be able to give us insight and information on the best ways in which we can boost our capital and dividends. On the emotional front, this astrological energy will bring new life to our romantic situations and partnerships. The caveat is that Mars, who is a Libra, shares of minor connection with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces. That will make it hard for us to make decisions. Instead of moving forward, it's a good time to reflect on the investments before we commit fully to making them. The lesson of the day is to slow down and to contemplate as to what the best choices for us will be. Seeking advice will be beneficial, as long as it's a trusted source who we know won't lead us astray from the best opportunities and results.